Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to create a review process in Zoho CRM. So once you log into your Zoho CRM system you'll come to the home screen. Now as we are adding review or a review process to our Zoho CRM system for a particular module I'll quickly explain what it is. So having a review process is essentially if a record meets certain set of criteria that we can set for that particular record then it needs a review and then we can assign who needs to review it. So as a good example, let's say the deal, or I'm gonna use deals as our example today, is worth in excess of a million pounds, for example. We wanna review it to make sure firstly that that's correct, maybe ensure that all the data we've got on that particular record is accurate because it's a big deal. So that would be a good use case for setting up a review process. So in order to do so, we need to go to the cog in the top right hand corner, but do ensure you have administrative permissions. So I'll press the cog, and then from here, we wanna to go to process management, and then under process management, go to review process. Now, as you can see here, I haven't got any processes created. In order to do, in order to create a new review process, just press create new process. And then firstly, the Zoho CRM is gonna ask us to give our process a name, so make it applicable. Um, and if you've got multiple processes, make sure it makes sense. I'm gonna call this one test because it's obviously our example today. You're also able to add a description of your review process if you'd like to. And then you can select the module that this review process is applicable to. So like I said, I'm gonna use our deals module, but of course you have all of the modules inside of the Zoho CRM system. So take your pick um, and whatever the review process is for, make sure it's associated to the relevant module. So like I said, I'm gonna choose deals, choose the layout, I'm gonna keep the layout as our standard layout as I haven't got any others. And then I'm gonna choose a condition to initiate the rule. So I want, so what is gonna, make the review process required what is going to kick start that so like i said i'm going to set the amount is equal to or greater than 10 or a million so if a deal value is equal to or greater than a million pounds i'm going to instigate this review process for someone to review the record so once you've created the condition to initiate the rule uh, if you don't, if you want, like it says here, if you want all um, all records to be reviewed, just leave this particular field blank. Like I said, you don't have to add it if you don't want to. And then press the next button. And then as you can see here, the criteria has already been set. And then we need to define which fields should be reviewed. So I'm gonna select amount because that's the amount, because uh, I think that could potentially be wrong, for example, if it's not accurate, or you could add an any other information. So I'm gonna select amount and then uh, lead source potentially, type, pipeline, closing date, deal name. So I'm gonna select amount and closing date. These are two fields that need to be reviewed uh, when our criteria is met for the review. So then I press continue and then we can add sub criteria if we'd like to for users to review. So they can then have to review any additional information based on other criteria. So you could either have it set for all records or you could add additional criteria if you'd like to. Of course, that is entirely up to you. I'm gonna leave it as all records. So our criteria amount is equal to or over, the, so our criteria is amount is equal to or over than a million and the fields to be reviewed are amount and closing date and that's gonna be applicable for all of our records. Then we press continue. Then we need to assign who is going to be reviewing this record. So we can choose our reviewers and obviously we have to select the users or we can select the roles, the groups or the record owner. Um, roles is always a good one. So if you've just got manager, that might be useful or you can select a specific user for that, for that specific process if you so wish. So I'm gonna select myself as the reviewer, of course, as there are no other users inside of this system. And then we can also assign instant actions. So it, we can send a notification on submission, notification on review completion, notification on rejection and SLA escalation as well. So well, if we'd like to, we can press done. And we can also configure reasons for record rejection. So potentially invalid entry, data insufficient and data does not match. And we can change those and edit those accordingly. So a good example might be invalid entry. So a million if that's excessive for your business or a ridiculous number, then maybe the reason for the, the uh, rejection would be invalid entry and then they would have to go and edit it. So it's, it's kind of a good way of 
stopping any mistakes from happening and things like that. So once you're happy with the uh, reasons for rejection, all you need to do is press the save button and then our new review, review process is live. So anytime a record is in the amount of a record is in excess of a million, then the, the review process will be triggered. We can also turn on and off our review process if we so wish by, um, by just changing the status here on the right. But that is how to create a review process in your Zoho CRM system. I hope this video has clearly explained how to create a review process in Zoho CRM. If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.